Uh, today, the president has on his desk a bipartisan national defense authorization bill. The bill provides our troops with the resources they need to keep America safe. And it meets the funding levels that the president requested. Yet the president has vowed to, to veto it. Why? Uh, because he wants to stop uh, and spend more money on his domestic agenda. It's time to put our troops first, time to stop playing political games. Iranian terrorists soon are going to have access to billions of dollars as a result of the president's nuclear deal. There's no time to block funding for our troops in the critical mission that they have ahead. Listen, I think Paul Ryan would make a, a great speaker, uh, but this decision is up to the members. And uh, I thought last night uh, went uh, very well, and uh, hopefully uh, by the end of the week we'll have uh, a nominee. I think, uh, I think Paul uh, is going to get the support uh, that he's looking for, but he laid out a very clear a vision of uh, how he would run uh, the, the speakership, and I thought the members responded very well to it. And, uh, but we all know Paul Ryan, right? Uh, he's a very good member. He works hard. Uh, he's very bright. Uh, and he has uh, a good relationships, I think, with all the wings of the party. So that's why I think uh, he'll be doing fine. I did announce to the members that the conference election uh, for speaker will be next Wednesday. And that uh, the 28th and on Thursday, the 29th, uh, the election will occur on the floor. If uh, This is not about us. Not about us as leaders, not about us as members. Uh, our job is to do the right thing for the American people every day. And you've heard me say this uh, multiple times, but I'll say it one more time. If you do the right things every day for the right reasons, the right things will happen for our country. Thanks. Are you excited to be Gazi tomorrow? I am. <laughs>